What's up, guys? Compliments of the season. Merry Christmas to you. I hope you're having a very cozy holidays. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a horror scene inside of Premiere Pro as in terms of color grading. I want to color grade. I want to make our color grading look like a bit of a horror scene. You know, when someone says horror scene, what comes into your mind? A tint of blue or green, you know, something like that. So we're going to create that look inside of Premiere Pro today. If you're not to this channel, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon to get notified anytime I post new content. All right, let's get straight into the tutorial for today. So inside of Premiere Pro, um, this is our footage and I'm going to choose a hero shot where um, a shot that best represents everything that's like the whole footage, everything, the entirety of the whole footage where I'm going to be doing my collaborating. And I choose this place because it kind of exposes um, her two legs and, of course, her faces. Her, her face. Um, oh, okay. Um, this is. I think this is better. Yeah, this is better for me. I love this. It exposes her two legs and her face. So, um, I'm going to go to my Lumetri color. I'm going to just um, create an adjustment layer, you no know, right click and create an adjustment layer. And I'm going to put that on top and drag this. And the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, you know, it's the basic corrections. I'm going to click on my basic correction. I'm going to increase my contrast. I'm going to um, decrease my highlights, you know, just to get a bit of the details of the trees in depth, the, of the, uh, the trees in depth, just to get that, um, details. I'm going to decrease my whites. I'm going to decrease my whites a bit. I'm going to go to my blacks and decrease it just to get that punchy look. Then I'm going to go to my creative and I'm going to increase my vibrance, you know, I think that's fine by me. This is uh, my vibrance. I'm going to increase the sharpen, to, um, sharpen it a little bit. And I'm going to go to, back to my basic correction and to get that look, that bluish look, um, that bluish look that you often see in horror movies, I'm just going to take my temperature and drag it towards to the blues. This is what I want. I'm going to drag it there. And I'm going to also take my tint and drag it towards the green, just to add a little bit of green to what I have, have created. And something is wrong with the shadow. I don't like it. I want to decrease the shadows too. You know, something like this. Yeah, this is fine for me. Well, I think uh, we've had a, we have a good start. And uh, this is our before, this is our after. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go to my curves. I'm going to go to my RGB curves and I'm going to click on three points here. Remember, this is the shadow, this is the mid-tones, and this is the highlights. I'm going to take down a bit, take that down a bit. No, take the shadows down a bit. I'm going to take the mid-tones up a bit. And the highlights, I'm going to still drag them down, you know, just to get more details. This is our before and this is our after. You can see we are getting details. In, we are getting more details in the footage, as you can see. This is before we went to the curves, before we um, crushed the highlights down. And now this is after we must have crushed the highlights down. We are still getting more details. So details are very, very important. And to get more details in your shot, you have to reduce the highlights. So I think that's fine for me. Now I'm going to go to her, her clothes. I'm going to create another adjustment layer. Um, new item. I'm going to go to, click OK. I'm going to click on adjustment layer. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to drag that up here. I'm going to also go to increase that to cover up the entire footage. Now I'm going to be working on her clothes, the, her clothes. So I'm going to go to my hue versus saturation. And with my my 
my color picker, I'm just going to click on this part and I'm going to drag that up a bit. I just want to increase the, the vibrance of it. As you can see, as we're increasing that, other things that are green in like over the ground here are also affected. But we want it that way. It's not a problem. But don't just overdo it. I'm also going to take my color picker again and I'm going to click on this part and I'm going to increase that a bit just to get um, to get the life on her clothes. So I think this is a before and this is the after. We though the the result is subtle, but come on, is the beef the after is more better than the before. Okay, um so the next thing I'm going to do is to I'm going to do something on her skin. I'm also going to create another adjustment layer. Um, I'm, you can also, if you if you can also you can also do two lumetric color. Two uh, you can also have two lumetric color on one adjustment layer. I just choose to do um, just I just choose to do everything in the adjustment layer. Like here is the color grading. Here is um for her clothing but okay let's just use this adjustment layer for to touch her skin so i'm going to go to my hsl um hsl secondary this i you can call it the split toning now i'm going to with my color picker i'm going to touch her skin i'm going to touch her skin i'm going to add up this part too i'm also going to now I'm going to um, max everything and then increase, refine the max. I'm going to do some refining in the max. So um, I think that's fine. This is the best we can get. So I'm going to denoise that. I'm going to blow it up, blow it also, and. I'm going to um, push this upwards the orange. I'm also I'm going to deactivate the max, and uh, you can see that our results. Without pushing that to the orange and increasing the saturation a bit, you can see what we have. Now um, this is our before, and this is our after. You can see we've added a bit of life to our skin. And of course, you want to add um, a bit of light also to her face, you know, it wasn't really shown properly here, but nevertheless, we will still have to do something about it. I'm going to increase this a little bit, the exposure of our skin a little bit, we'll increase the contrast. And also going to, I think the saturation is too much, I'm going to take that down a bit, you know, just to make it look natural. So, so before, this are after. So we've done that. So um, I'm going to touch her skin now. I'm also going to do... I'm also going to create another lumetric color. I'm going to add another lumetric color effect. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to click on this color picker and I'm going to touch her skin. And I'm going to So um, I'm going to do the refining and I think that's okay for me. That's fine. I'm going to denoise it. I'm going to blow it out. I'm also going to take this. I'm also going to take this up there. I'm also going to deactivate the max. No. Or something. Before and after. Though it may not really be observable, but at least it's something. So um, this is it. Now, next thing we're going to do is to... I think a finishing touch of um of blue. I also I'm gonna add another lumetric color. I'm gonna add another one and I'm going to um set my color. I'm gonna to touch our skin because that's this but this place um identifies it like it's it's kind it's kind of differentiates it the, the subject from the environment. I don't want to touch this because there are other elements here that are also green. I don't want to touch this and that because there are other elements here that are also that also have this color. So I'm, the best is to touch her skin because it's going to get a very big difference. So I'm going to 
click on this and I'm going to refine this max. I'm going to refine it. We'll do some refining. Yeah, I think that's okay for me. I think our skin is okay. For me. So I'm going to denoise it. I'm going to blow it out a bit. And I'm going to invert this thing. I'm going to invert it. Remember, white reveals, white black hides. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it to the blues over here. And I think that's fine by me. That's fine by me. I'm going to deactivate this. Now I'm going to add the contrast. I'm going to add a little bit of contrast to everything. I'm going to add a sharpen. And I'm going to add a bit of saturation. You know. Yeah, I think that's fine. So this is our before and this is our after. Before and after. As you can see, We've created some sort of um, horror scene inside of Premiere Pro. So I'm going, to back, I'm going to go back to my basic corrections and I feel like I need to do some touch. I'm going to go to my creative. I'm going to add a faded theme to everything I have done here. I'm going to add a faded theme to have that theme look. So at the end of everything, guys, this is what we have. Now, this is where we started from. This is where we started from. This is where we did our basic correction. We did our basic correction and um, the color grading in this layer. Yeah, this adjustment layer. And in this layer, we did the, we retouched the skin. We added some light to the skin, also to her dress, and also increased the general the blue of the environment. So, this is, is um, the second adjustment layer. And also, we added a faded theme. So guys, that is how to create a horror scene inside of Premiere Pro in terms of color grading. When a horror scene is mentioned, what comes into your mind? Blues, greens. These two colors, they are very, very complementary in creating of horror scenes, especially how to draw horror scenes. Even in those, they use them as well. So guys, that's it for this tutorial. I uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please hit the like, smash the like button. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon to get notified anytime I post new content. My name is Chris. I will see you in my next video. Merry Christmas, guys. See you.